Hi, welcome to Things You Can Do with the 2 Series MSO from Tektronics. Today we're going to take a look at the Digital Pattern Generator. Now that's a 4-bit option, it can be accessed by the front and it can actually generate up to 25 megabits per second of digital patterns. So um, to do that, I've actually got it connected up to a logic probe going back into the 2 Series. I'll bring up those channels, I've already pre-configured them, so D8 to D11. Um, and I'll also bring up the pattern generator option. So it's at the front, again, next to the AFG. Here's the various options. You can have them toggling from zero to one. You can set it permanently low, permanently high, or even high impedance. Um, variety of amplitudes, so 2.5 up to five volts. You can also change the bitrate, as I mentioned earlier. So one really cool feature uh, is actually you can generate your own digital pattern. So you can actually preload some a stream in in CSV file format, um, and here I've created one in RS232. So if I just press the continuous button, you can see here that I've got like a regular clock at D11, and I've also got the RS232 pattern on D8. Now I can decode that by simply adding a bus, changing my bus type to RS232. Um, I've already matched the bit rate, so 9.6 kilobits per second. Um, just select the source, so of course the source this time is D8. It automatically sets the threshold to the digital channel threshold of 1.4 volts. And as you can see, it's already started decoding. So if I was to change that to ASCII format and bring the bus on, if I just capture a little bit more information, open the capture window up. So earlier on, I wrote TEK into um, a, a CSV file in RS232 format. And as you can see, the two series is decoding that perfectly well in ASCII format. So another really cool feature of the 2 Series MSO from Tektronix.